literally nothing else have I recorded. We've been here for like an hour now, and the lizard is the first thing that I decide to get. Huh? We've been here an hour, and the lizard is the first thing that I decide to record. No, he's still there. Okay. So basically, what the owners are saying is like the last family or the last like guests that were here, like they kind of like trashed the place. The fridge was like full of rotten food. It was all smelly, blah, blah, blah. So we had to wait a little bit longer to get in than we would have liked. But honestly, dude, it's not bad at all. This house is beautiful and this pool is great. It is great. Okay, second time recording the voiceover. <laughs> This is the pool for the house that we stayed at. Very nice, very large pool. And you can see the patio was enormous. Lots of sliding doors that lead into the house in multiple directions to the living room. Um, the other side was to the kitchen. You go over and you see our closed off um, little patio area. It was really nice from the bugs and stuff. You go over, there's another patio, grill, some tables, blah, blah, blah. And there was a boat where we fished off of into the canal, really nice. You come out this way, and this door leads directly to our bathroom. So every time we finished swimming, we literally just take, took our clothes off, threw them outside, hopped in the shower, and immediately across the way is our bedroom, which was really nice, you know? Straight from the pool to the shower to the bed if you wanted to. The bed was okay, but, I mean, we expected that. Beautiful view going out. And then you come into the living room, or I guess one of them. Barely used it. There was a mud room. A third bedroom even, right? Lots of cool stuff. The kitchen where we spent most of our time cooking. And of course, over here where we spent a majority of the time watching the Water 7 arc for One Piece. Very good time. first time in the ocean we are in Florida Sanibel I don't know the beach exactly I'll probably put it here later on but what's your what are your thoughts on your first time at the ocean I'm excited I can't wait to get in yeah, yeah. that's it so you got it? do you want to tell everybody about our super cool patches mm -hmm. what do they do so they tell you when you need to reapply sunscreen so I got one too, right? So basically you're supposed to put the sunscreen on there for like 30 seconds and then once that's good then you can like rub it in but the patch turns white when you need to reapply. This is Megan's first time going into the ocean. You ready? Yes. All right. You're in the ocean. You're like Moana. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. I feel like I feel like I'm going to go away. Immediately my lens just started fogging over. Oh no. <laughs> this is so cool. Can you tell us what that is? This? Yeah. What what does it do though? This just keeps up shells. There's a lot of crumbs here, but like if you dig you get good stuff. So all the all the sand, all the shells go in there, you just rinse it out with the water? Yep, you wanna see? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do a Oh my oh. god, we're getting a live demonstration. Oh my hey. demo. I use my foot to push it down real hard in the sand. Bring it up. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. You go like that. You're <laughs> fish and queen. Nice. Just like the pioneers sipped it for gold. I was just about wow. to say that. And oh, was... wow. Uh, wait, what's the pioneer from Toy Story? And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just going to spread it out here. Okay, I'm recording. Hey, what do you have here? I have an apple murik, and we have a friend in here. And he's going to move in a second. So what does that mean for us then, if there's something in there? We can't keep him. So we have to release him. Yeah. 
but it's amazing she's in the water and look how clear it is i know if you guys are spilling up too in the water once it all kind of like dies down you can actually see that the fish are like literally right next to you one of them bit my never mind <laughs> we've been here for about four hours now and in that time we ate some sandwiches we drank some water and we ate some chips oh so, we made like 10 friends like 10 friends um there was a couple an older couple from like one of the carolinas we were talking to them for a while and you know they were like giving us advice on the shelling blah 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 and then one of the guys he came up to me and he's like hey dude here and he gives me a little shark tooth i was so happy I Like not even rocks, just shells. And that's literally the entire coast and like the first like quarter mile of the beach. <laughs> Surfish! Oh my god, that's so cute. Those are you can cute. pop them up for a couple seconds, but then put them back down. That was a lizard back there. Here he is. Look at that, even on vacation we find a little frog. Hi buddy. Oh my god, he's so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Down there I think. That frog said, yeah. How you say it? What in the world? Is that it down there? Come on, Megalodon. No. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's in the boogie. Okay. <laughs> Geico, come back. Okay, the frog's coming out this way. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. It's not He's coming your way. Okay, there he goes, there he goes. Oh my god. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is the second day in a row where it just started pouring like crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> this is literally like maybe not even a 10 minute update from the last clip. Look at the corner. The whole patio is just like submerged underwater. <gasps> no, what? I was gonna say the walkie talkies, but they're good. I think we're like directly underneath the storm. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. So we're just gonna be watching some one piece. Okay, so now third and final update on this little storm. It kinda stopped raining. And now we're about to watch the sunset um over here. It's drizzling a little bit, but honestly it's not that bad. The ground is wet more than anything and you see like where the water's still coming down and stuff, but not bad. Very manageable. We're barefoot. Put them grippers away. <laughs> so, oh, and I got that on camera too. Yeah. Are they quiet? <laughs> Our it don't just do that. <laughs> trying to make a, uh, a whirlpool and I I was exhausted I could not do it anymore that was five minutes ago she's still going she's still trying to get a whirlpool going how did 
is she doing? This is Megan's second Florida fish. Actually, no, this is Megan's first native fish to Florida. Yeah. Um, she's caught some other bad boys, but this is the first. And this one's... <laughs> ah! This one's actually beautiful. All right, baby, let's release. <laughs> You're a braver woman than I could ever be. <laughs> That's so cool. Do you want to take a picture of them? No, I, I'm okay. Sure? <laughs> no, I'm a little bitch. <laughs> Good job. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. There you go. All right. How do you feel? This is the first time I've ever caught in a fish this big, so I feel really good. And it's a Florida native, like the one you just caught, so <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. Oh my god, I... look, he's paddling! Yes, I'm proud of you! <laughs> okay, let's, good job, baby. Let's let him go. And once again, you see why Megan is the fishing queen. Yeah. She caught another free issue. The, once the storm finished, we came back and you know, now the fish are biting and everything. We see them like over there and whatnot, but still I've had no luck again. I'm gonna switch my line, see if I can get something else after this. Babe, do you wanna switch over to a bobber? Babe, do you want me to change your pole so that you can have better luck with this? And <laughs> she like, she put a bobber on the hook and she's like, all right, let me test it out to make sure that it works. And literally right away, first cast, <laughs> she catches another fish. I'm not making this up, guys. She's that good. <laughs> Mermaid off duty? No. Master fisherman, honestly. <laughs> wow. This one's prettier. Yeah. This one's more vibrant, it feels like. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got a little... Wow! All right, that's enough for me. Megan. She's warm. Look at the nopales for dinner. Mm, aloe. Or is that agave? Uh, I think that might be aloe. Yeah, that's aloe. Agave would have um, a much bigger base. It's a huge, like, plant. Yeah. Nematodes. To a Waco does to you. You live on the edge. You're adventurous now. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like we're in Jurassic Park, right?
Okay, babe. We're finally back home in the U.S. of states, and uh, yeah. How do you how do you feel to be home? I'm so relieved. The sun was brutal. We are cooked, and I'm like three shades like tanner, but it was fun. I really enjoyed it. It was nice. Um, it's just, you know, a little glimpse into the married life and how it's going to be when we get our house and everything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we leave you guys with a thank you, a goodbye, um, one last kiss. So please give a like, please share. It helps out a lot. Any last thoughts, baby? I will not miss Florida. I will not miss the heat. I will not miss the bugs. I will not miss the heat rash. But I can't wait for Colorado. <laughs> Amen. Woo!